Dude, there's no sense in that, man. It ain't like somebody's getting pranked. This is the moment I've been waiting for for a minute now. So I know y'all have noticed that the last so many videos, like all of them that wasn't filmed outside, they were shadowy, they was dark, they wasn't bright. YouTube, their algorithm likes bright lit videos. So that's a tip I can give you right off the bat if you're starting a channel. Make sure your lighting is adequate. Because if it's not, they're going to put you to the bottom of the list. Like the last video we uploaded, yeah, it was real dark, it was shadowy, and it didn't perform well. But you go look at the videos that was bright lit, it was perform well. So we've been saying it. The days of us doing what we say we're going to do have begun. Y'all have noticed that. Like you go back through the channel, you'll see. You know, we say we're going to do something, but we never did do it. We never really had the money to do it. I want to give you guys credit. It's because of you all that we've been able to move in this new house. It's because of you we've been able to buy these things for challenges. It's because of you we was able to get a new camera and give Turkey a better life. You guys are responsible for this. I've noticed a lot of YouTubers, they don't give their fan base the credit they deserve because without you guys, we're nothing. We could put up videos to the end of time, but if you're all not here watching them, subscribing, liking, sharing, you know, commenting, we couldn't do what we do. And we appreciate you all. Y'all mean more to us than we ever know. When we say you're family, we really mean you guys are family. You've done so much for us. We ask just continue to come back, watch our videos, hit that subscribe button. Just be a part of this family. Now, the box. The box. I gotta show you what's in this box. Oh, uh, oh, it even smells new. Can't see yet. Gotta get it in just the right spot. Boom! Just as I said, we got the cannon. I'm babysitting, little mama's going to get her hair done. You get to see that when she gets back. In the next video, of course. That's probably her. I got the cannon. G7X Mark II. This is like a go-to camera for YouTubers. I've watched many channels of people using this. I did my homework. Their video quality was phenomenal. The face tracking, the color, every bit of it out of the box. Canon's got what's called color science. If you're already doing a YouTube channel and you really want to know what camera to use, a GoPro's great if you're doing all outside videos, but if you're inside, they're not so good. They're meant for outdoors, which is great because now we're going to have a camera as a secondary for the Bigfoot Chronicles. This is going to be our daily vlogging camera. When we do the challenges, this is what we're going to use. Got a bunch of cards and directions, a big thick owner's manual. You know what I do with these? I find everything I need to know about camera settings on YouTube because the fact that it's so much easier, you get this hands-on feel, you get to watch them do it, so you can go in and adjust your settings adequately, very easily. Of course, you got your charger, you got your battery. It doesn't come with a memory card, the one I bought, but it's all right, I got a memory card. Automatically, the weight and feel of this camera is amazing. And what I like about this camera too, it's got this flip up display. That way you can see what you're vlogging. As long as you don't look at that, you need to look at the lens. We had a flip out camera once before. I lost it during the Bigfoot Chronicles. This will make it so much easier to see that we're in frame, we're in focus. Let's power this thing on. All right, it automatically comes on. Asked me to set the date and time. I'll do that later. Memory card locked. I don't know if it's in the lock position or the unlock. Let's try this again. Memory card locked. I'll be right back. All right, apparently the memory card was formatted for the GoPro. I went and deleted the, the files that was on it because there wasn't really anything on it. Guys, out of the box, this camera is so much better in this lighting situation than the GoPro is. I'm gonna do some side-by-side -side comparison. Right now, I'll start. The autofocus is like this. Jumps quick. Everything looks bright, looks vibrant. And even though it's the daytime, that camera, I've had to put my ring light on so I get adequate lighting. But right here's what my face looks like on the G7X. Now, let's walk around the house, get an example of what it looks like on one camera to the next. Here is the shot. No lights on in the living room. No lights with the G7X. GoPro with the lights on. What's up, Bubba? Cannon with the lights on. What up, little dude? I can see you better. 
Look at that. Way different. Here is shining up the hallway, no lights on, with a GoPro. Here's shining up the hallway, no lights on, with the Canon. You can notably tell the difference. Now here's the lights on. Lights on. World, world, world of difference. It brings the color out so much more. You can see that the walls are shadowy on one side. But then here they're not shadowy. Down in the basement. GoPro, you can barely see anything. You cannot see the texture of the walls, but the Canon, you can see the texture of the walls. Look at the dark dinginess quality of the GoPro. Now look at the quality of the Canon. World, world, world of difference. I can already tell I'm gonna like filming with this camera better. Sound quality, I don't know yet. But honestly, the sound quality of the GoPro isn't the greatest in the world. And I had to buy a Rode mic to put on it. Now, anytime the mic shakes or something, it gives you a weird popping noise. But everything I've seen about the Canon has got a good 360 mic built in right off the bat. Sound should be great. Y'all comment down below which camera you like best and which one you think films better. I'm gonna be cutting back and forth because I'm filming the same thing. Are you serious right now? Hey, you think that's funny? Yeah, you can see the color on the Canon is way better than the color on the GoPro. So much better, I love it. And this is just without out of the box settings. I've not adjusted anything yet. I've not played with anything. This is just out of the box, the way it comes. I'm pretty happy with it from what I can tell from looking. Now this is, you know, me just filming right now. I have to see what it's gonna look like once I get into the editor. Definitely, definitely, definitely happy with the quality. Yes, we got a new camera, the Canon G7X Mark II. Like I said, I am happy, I am tickled pink. So from now on, when you see our videos, we've went from the GoPro to the Canon. This, now, this is gonna be like for the Bigfoot Chronicles, uh, maybe a little camera on Colton when we're driving down the road. We're gonna start using this more. I can definitely tell the angle's not as wide and big, but you know what? It's something I have to get used to. I'm pretty sure the sound's gonna be a lot better, but I'm gonna get into the settings of this thing, so the next video it may look a little different, may look a little better, may look a little worse, I don't know, I'm gonna figure it out. That's the thing of using a new camera. You gotta get in there and tinker around and play. Got a good video coming up for you all. You're gonna love this one. I, I caught myself looking at the upper screen. I can't do that. I gotta look at you. I gotta talk to you. That's right. The tarantulas come in. Little mama's gone getting her hair cut. When she's getting back, she's gonna look all beautiful and pretty like she does anyway, but her hair, she gets a lot of confidence from it. So when she gets back with her new do, I'm gonna make her sit down and eat some tarantulas with me. Well guys, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. I know it's a little different, but the thing with us, they say stick with a niche. I can't stick with a niche. I'm all over the place. I like doing pranks sometimes. I like doing challenges sometimes. I love doing the daily vlogs and really connecting with you guys. Sometimes I like to sit down and rant. You never know what you're going to get with us. We're a multifaceted channel. That's the thing about hillbillies. We can't stay anchored down to one thing, especially me because I got ADD. We love you all. I'm gonna work on this video and the vlog we done yesterday too, so there may be two videos today. Just have to come back and check. And if you've not subscribed to the new channel, The Hillbillies Try, go over there. As soon as we get that channel rolling, there'll be exclusive content only to The Hillbillies Try. So you don't wanna miss out on that. So guys, until the next time, stay positive, stay country, and stay true to your roots. God bless you guys. We'll see you on that mountainside.